This is a video where we will be restoring a class 3 preparation with composite. First thing we do is to isolate the tooth. Use a matrix band on the adjacent tooth and a wedge to secure the matrix band. And remember that this does create some space between the two teeth. So the first thing we did is we applied some bonding agent, thinned it out with some air water spray and we're now curing it to get ready to add some composite into this cavity. Once you've cured it, take some composite and remember that this class 3 cavity is really tiny. So it only takes a little bit to get you there. Add that composite, um, condense it, and then you can use an explorer to remove any excess that could have flown in um, incisively or gingivally and also onto the lingual surface. And as you keep adding composite, you can continue to remove excess so that makes your job easier towards the end result. And we'll go ahead and cure our first layer. We've ensured that this is completely cured, we can go ahead and start adding the additional layer of composite. And like we said, a little goes a long way. So just a little bit of composite. And many times we might not be able to take the composite gun and orient it in a way that we want to add composite to these class 3 cavities. So the, a good way to do that is to take some composite in your plastic instrument and carry it to the cavity like we did over here. And then I'm using an explorer to remove excess so that it makes my job easier when I go ahead to finish this restoration.
Once you're happy with the fill of this cavity, also use an explorer to make sure that it's completely cured and you don't have any voids in the margins. You can start finishing this. So we're using a finishing diamond here in a slow speed and start using this to start removing excess flash, smoothing out the restoration, always running the burr from restoration to tooth or tooth to restoration um, and not using it only in one surface which would lead to ditching or creating voids that we really don't want to create in this area. After grossly finishing it with our finishing diamond, we can move to our white diamond, white, sorry, white stone or polishing tip, which can be used to further refine this restoration. Here's the final finish after playing with it a little more to finish it with the white stone and then after removing the matrix band and the wedge and it really looks beautiful we've re-established the contact it's flush with the tooth structure there is no voids it's completely cured and it's something that would make the examiners really happy